Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome back to another Fortnite video. If you are new around here, then thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to click that like down below and hit that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on that notification bell, and you'll always get updated of all my new content when it comes out. If you do buy anything from the item shop, either in Battle Royale or Save the World, then please consider using my creator code in the item shop, as it will help me out a great deal. But, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so, today's video then, uh, is a how-to uh, video. Um, I've had a lot of people uh, recently asking me, how do you get um, so much XP for survivors and um, schematic XP? Um, the, the short answer is, lots of grinding. Um, there are, if we just go into the map, now we've gone in on uh, a Stonewood first of all, just for anyone who is still in Stonewood. Um, now the, um, the four person missions are normally the best, they do normally give the, uh, the best rewards. Like this one here, we have uh, four times schematic XP, and um, we've got two lots of 440 hero XP. Um, now when you are in Stonewood, um, the the rewards aren't um, fantastic rewards, uh, but then as you're starting out in, in Stonewood uh, early on, you don't need a vast amount. It's only when you start going in uh, um, really sort of late Plankerton, uh, Canny Valley and Twine Peaks that you really need um, your XP. But if we um, we just have a look here now, of course we've got this one with the uh, the four times schematic XP. That's on a, a four person mission. Um, if we just have a, a quick look around uh, some of the uh, um, missions that we've got available, uh, like this one here, retrieve the data. You've got two lots of schematic XP on there. Um, now you won't know exactly how much. Um, of a reward you're going to get until you go into the actual uh, mission um, and complete it. Um, so it's, it's difficult to say exactly um, how much you will get. But there's another one there with schematic XP uh, double as well. Um, now I will go into um, this four person mission because one of my daily challenges is to do some missions in Stonewood. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, do this four person uh, mission. Um, it is a level five so chances are I could probably solo it. But um, I'll go in with some other people. we we'll get this done as quickly as possible and then I'll show you what rewards um, you will get from it. Okay, so this is the loot now that I've got from that uh, mission uh, that we went into. So we've got a level 4 loot, which is okay. We had some good schematic XP in that. I've got my pieces of cake, that's my normal tickets. That's my uh, ninja. Okay, there we are. We got 880. Uh, hero XP as well and of course we had a mini boss in it as well so I got an evolution cache with uh, two pure drops of rain lovely right so that was the stonewood mission um, now if we go back in on this map here now you will notice that uh, the additional XP now isn't there because you've done this mission now already um, you will only get the normal four times schematic XP you won't get the additional uh, but that uh, that's from that stonewood mission so let's just have a quick look in the plankerton Okay, now on the Plankerton, of course, uh, Plankerton is a lot bigger than uh, than the Stonewood, so you've got a lot more uh, missions to pick from. But we have got another four-person Ride the Lightning here, uh, which has got two lots of Hero XP and four times Hero XP as well. So you'll get quite a bit of uh, uh, reward from that one. Now we have got a uh, another fight the storm here, uh, which has got um, sorry double schematic XP on it, and there's another four person mission here, which is apart from having two lots of pure drops of rain, you also get four times schematic XP on this as well. 
Okay, and we've got a repair the shelter that's got two lots of survivor XP and there's also another four person mission here which will give you four times survivor XP. Um, if we just quickly go into the Canny Valley, of course this uh, being the next one up, um, does normally give uh, pretty decent rewards in these ones. Let's just have a quick look through. Okay, now this one, uh, which albeit is a, a level a 70, uh, this four person mission that will give you uh, 20,625 hero XP times two. So you'll get quite a, a fair bit from that one if you can go into those. Uh, this one's got four times survivor XP. Uh, it's got double survivor XP. It's four times schematic XP on this one. And this one over here you can get four times schematic XP. And you can also get a defender. And you can also get survivalist Jonesy. So there's quite a lot of missions there which do give uh, pretty decent uh, rewards. And we just have a quick look in the Twine Peaks for anyone who is in Twine. Let's have a look. Uh, these have all got double hero, double schematic, uh, four times hero XP on that one. It's double XP on the resupply. Now this one, uh, four person retrieve the data. Um, you've got 57,750 survivor XP times 2 and 4 times schematic XP as well. So you can get quite a lot in uh, the Twine Peaks. But of course in Twine, uh, as I said earlier, you do need a lot more XP and a lot more materials um, in order to um, to progress. So that's why you get much better uh, rewards. But that is how to get your XP, is literally doing the uh, the four person missions are the best ones, uh, but do check them out on the map because you may get other ones as well. But I hope you did find this useful, if you did don't forget to drop a like down below and hit that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on that notification bell then you'll always get updated of all my new content when it comes out. But I hope you enjoyed and as always until the next time I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe my friends.